Today I want to teach you how to eat pizza or any of your favorite foods and without eating less still lose fat. Hey I'm Alex Hall the DNA fat loss coach and welcome to today's video. Before we dive in do make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let me know your thoughts below in the comments and of course if you're enjoying the content drop me a like as well that would really really appreciate it. So let's dive into the topic today. You can still eat pasta every week. You can still eat pizza every week. You can have ice cream, you can have you know, bread, whatever it is, whatever your favorite food is, you can still eat those things and still lose fat. All you've got to do is make a simple tweak before you have these foods, okay? Let me walk you through it. So let's say I know I'm gonna go for a meal out, I'm going to a pizza restaurant or something, okay? The difficulty there is it's very, very easy to overeat lots of pizza, okay? It's a very calorie dense food, okay? So it's very, very easy to consume high amounts of calories in a very short space of time without necessarily feeling full, okay? So we can still eat that pizza, we can still savor it, still enjoy it, still eat it mindfully with our friends in a social setting. However, the key thing here is beforehand, so maybe two hours or maybe more, beforehand you wanna have a small meal yes this is additional food I'm telling you to eat more food okay but we want a small meal where we're having a protein source and ideally something containing fiber okay so something like a small salad you know a handful of berries uh, some blueberries or something you could have some tuna some beans some fish um, some legumes you know some chickpeas you could have some homemade hummus something like that right something really simple nice and light you want some fiber and you want some protein, okay? And the reason why you want these foods is because they will satiate you, okay? They will satisfy your hunger. They will fill you up without being very calorie dense, okay? So of course we want to avoid the really high fat foods. So we don't want to go for, you know, big sort of fatty piece of bacon, for example. That's not the best protein source to go for here. You want to go for something nice and lean, a nice lean piece of chicken breast, for example, uh, on a bit of salad with maybe a apple cider vinegar vinaigrette or maybe a squeeze of lemon juice on there a little bit of salt and pepper yeah, something nice and light something really fresh delicious right because then we get the protein hit and kind a of ramp up our metabolism it's also going to keep us nice and full we're getting the fiber from the veggies from the fruits if we're choosing to have them from the legumes from the beans from the lentils whatever it is that we're going for okay that's going to keep us really nice and full for several hours okay so then when we go to pizza restaurant, the pasta restaurant, the ice cream parlor, whatever it is that we're going to, okay, we're not sat there ravenous waiting for our food and therefore we don't wolf it down, consume it within seconds, right? Because it's that moment when you start eating all that food way too quickly and you have the whole thing, more than you really, really need, let's be honest, that's when the calories stack up. But actually, by shifting some of your calorie intake slightly earlier in the day, as we've discussed, so a high protein, high fiber meal. Yeah, it's probably only gonna be a couple of hundred, maybe 300 calories or something then. But the satisfaction, the fullness that you get from that could reduce the amount you're eating later on by potentially, let's say, a thousand calories to pick an arbitrary number. Okay, let's say you would eat 3,000 calories of pizza and you end up eating 2,000, 300 plus 2,000, 2,300, rather than nothing before, 3,000 during the pizza. Okay, and just throwing around some numbers here so you can get a feel for how the math kind of works. So you're having front loading some of your food, protein, fiber, keep you full. So you go into that situation, whether it's a barbecue, you know, you're going out with friends, you're going to a restaurant, whatever it is. Maybe it's just date night at home. You know you're going to have a little bit more food than normal. If you listen to your intuition, okay, okay, I've actually had a bit of food already. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to eat it nice and slowly, nice and mindfully. And really savor the flavor of it but after a few slices go back to the piece example i'm probably right probably right i'm going to save it for later i'm going to you know someone else can have it it's fine i'm done i'm happy i've enjoyed my pizza i've got to enjoy the pizza so i'm not dieting i'm not on some sort of very restrictive uh, diet or program or plan or whatever but you've managed your calorie intake and you've actually added a bit more healthy foods that are going to support your goals beforehand okay so again we eat a small meal beforehand some high in protein high in fiber ideally you want to be getting some really key nutrition 
couple of servings of your fruit and dip, veg there per day, if you want to have that in your meal beforehand, then go to the pizza restaurant, whatever it is, and you can enjoy that meal. You have no need to worry about anything, right? <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Let me know your thoughts below. Really appreciate you listening, and we'll speak to you soon.